Turning now to your voice, your vote, and the presidential campaign. Vice President Mike Pence arrived at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport just before noon today. Got a warm welcome from some supporters. This, by the way, the third time this year Vice President Pence has visited Michigan. He's trying to energize support for the 2020 Keep America Great campaign to reelect President Trump. Here's a live look right now from Holland, where supporters are gathered. The event is being held inside a vacant office building downtown. Yeah, and that right there is uh, State Party Chair Cox speaking. We have two crews on the story. I'm our boss inside listening to the vice president when he eventually speaks, but we're going to begin our coverage with 13 on your side, Sarah Makuta, who is outside where protesters have started to gather, Sarah. Yes, they are protesters behind me. We're going to talk to you about them in just a minute. I'm in downtown Holland where the Keep America event is set to kick off any moment now. And as you said, Vice President Pence has been in West Michigan for a good part of today. He touched down, Air Force Two touched down at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport this morning. From there, he went to Portage to meet with some faith leaders where he talked about the economy, about pro-life, and about prayer. I believe that prayer reaches heaven, yes, his holy dwelling place. I believe that the effective and fervent prayer of a righteous nation availeth much. Amen. And I believe uh, that if his people who are called by his name will humble themselves and pray, he'll do like he's always done in the long and storied history of this country. In these two divided of times, he'll hear from heaven and he'll heal this land. Now, the protesters, the group continues to grow here, as I said. You can probably hear them chanting behind me. We're going to talk to some of those protesters in the next few minutes, and we're going to share their thoughts with you as well. Now, to maintain their base, the Trump campaign needs to get the support of senior voters, of suburban women, and of swing state voters like here in Michigan. Now, Ottawa County has voted for the Republican nominee in past presidential elections. In 2016, President Trump carried Ottawa County with about 60 percent of the vote. In 2012, Mitt Romney carried Ottawa County with about 66 percent of the vote. And in 2008, John McCain carried with about 61 percent of the vote. Now, as we continue to move toward the 2020 election, the race continues to narrow. It's certainly going to be interesting to see what voters take away from the vice president's speech tonight. I'm Sarah Makuda in downtown Holland, 13 on your side.